it's got a hold. Good news, hon, they had two more gallons. What day is it? What do you mean, what day is it? I was only gone for an hour. Good morning, YouTube family. Okay, today is an incredibly exciting day because we are starting in another room doing a refresh. As you know, when we bought this house almost two years ago, this house was built in 1899. And when we got here, this house was completely abandoned. As many of you know the story, but if you're new to our channel, this house had no kitchen, no heating, no plumbing, no working electrical. It literally needed everything. So when we got here, we had prearranged and ordered our dream kitchen. It was going to cost about $36,000. Oh my word, it makes me sick even just thinking about it. But after we waited, six months, eight months, 10 months, 11 months, our dream kitchen from a company never arrived, which meant that we were using barbecue, crock pot, toaster oven, all the things and trying to make do living in this house with no kitchen at all. So after we finally realized that this kitchen was clearly not happening, we asked for a deposit back and we took building our own DIY kitchen into our own hands. So I spent about two weeks online trying to research as many cabinet making things as I could and was able to DIY and build us a kitchen. Of course, Philip was here to help and support my dream of building my own kitchen. And so together we were able to bring this vision to life. We've now lived with this kitchen for about a year or close to a year's time. And there's something in that space that we think that we could make better for our family. So maybe sometimes you see my decisions and you're like, what is she thinking? But just trust me, this is going to be so much better for our family. And I think in the end, it's going to look amazing. You've also been seeing this week that we've been working on painting the staircase. We're working on all the layers that we need to complete that, waiting for things to dry in between rainy days. We did our photo gallery wall and we've been working on painting the living room fresh white and just giving it a little bit of a makeover, which I will show you an update on today. Okay, we have a lot of work to do today, so let's get started. So you can see we have been working on more of the white paint. We were able to get the rest of the curtains hung on this space here. And all together, I think it's coming along nicely. We still have quite a bit of painting to do, but we're getting there. And I've been working on putting the layers on the gold here so that we can finally roll across the ceiling, which means that we'll have to remove everything, but we're almost there. So over the past year, since we renovated the kitchen, this is what our dining room side has looked like. There's been a few other things in here. We did have a very boho style, very organic vintage rug that was put on the floor in here that we did live with for about a month and a half or so. And then we decided it was just not the rug for this space. And now that we've decided on more of like a ranch and more of like a homestead decor, even a little bit farmhouse, we decided that that was just not the rug. And so that rug has already gone to a new family and we have selected a new rug for this space. You'll also notice that our TV that we did have here, which was a very controversial thing that we added to our kitchen, is not in the kitchen right now. But that is not because it's not making a comeback. It's just that Philip was so lovely and brought it up into our bedroom for me while I was recuperating from my surgery. And we absolutely want to have the TV back in the space. So that's what this whatever this is, is right now, and the TV will be going back in that spot. One of the things that we realized since building this kitchen is that this type of seating for us does not work for our family. It's just not the best thing for what our family does. Our dining room table is not just for eating, breakfast, lunch, dinner, you know, whatever else you eat at your table. We craft at this table, we play board games at this table. We do family activities at this table. We cheer for the Toronto Raptors from this table. We do so many things in this dining room space in addition to using this space as our editing office space. We always sit here and edit our videos. And there's just not another room in the house that we want to dedicate to an office. We don't want to put a desk in our bedroom because bedrooms shouldn't have workspaces. We don't want to sacrifice the craft room or the movie room or the pantry or any of the other designated rooms to have an office. And so we often sit right here while one of us is cooking dinner and we flip flop and trade off editing videos sometimes and we both sit right here. But this is just not a comfortable space to do any of the above mentioned. These chairs are okay. They're not really that comfortable even for a dinner. They're really just not. We, as we've mentioned in previous videos, this table set that we got has been a disaster since we got it. And so we wanna make a change to this. We've kind of been able to save the table. Maybe this will be our forever table, but for now it works. We're going to keep two of these chairs and we're going to store four of these chairs away. And I know you're thinking, well, there's four of you. Where are the other two of you going to sit? Well, we wanna have a different type of seating in this space. 
When we were in Ontario, we built a baguette around a round table and it was so comfortable in the kitchen space. And we really liked having that eat-in style. We don't want to build bench seating in front of the windows here, but we do want to have comfortable seating here that is a little more casual. We're a little bit more casual when it comes to kitchen dining. And so we want to make this a different space. So something amazing happened. What are you doing? You're peeking. Like I'm peeking. He literally I can't wait. You're getting me in trouble for cutting the box with a knife. No. Nope. But yeah, I'm getting in trouble for stealing a peek. You're trying to see. I have to. I have to see if I match. So we are excited because. As you know, we did our movie room theater seating with our boys for their special room. We collaborated with Valencia Home Seating and they just sent us two more gifts to use in the house. Oh my. <laughs> Okay, now I need to peek. Well, Valencia Home Theater Seating has been like amazing to our family and a wonderful support. And they gifted us not one, but two amazing additions to add to our house. So in addition to adding seating and changing the way that we have our dining set here, we wanna add a little quick fresh roll of paint on this space. When we did the kitchen, we did do two coats of paint. I think it honestly needs a third. So we're going to just do that. Plus it will freshen everything up before winter. We wanna get a rug down in this space because winter is inevitably coming and it's so cozy for us to have a really nice plush rug, which is why we really didn't like the other one. It was kind of scratchy and it just wasn't like that cozy plush vibe that we had. We wanna have something like really nice and soft under our feet and then get the TV and everything back up here. And then we wanna add some more like personal items and things to this space. We've had it here for about a month and I've resisted all temptations so that I can do it with our YouTube family and not pre-do it by ourselves. <laughs> right? It's... I resisted the all temptations. The rug YouTube family has been rolled up in the corner in my bedroom. So I know she's been dreaming about opening it up and designing this space for a little bit of time. So she's super excited to do it now. Okay, so I don't know if any of you noticed in the previous video, but I want you to leave a comment down below. Something happened in our last video where I was standing in the craft room and many of you suggested that you possibly think that our house might be haunted because of something happened, what happened in that video. I'm not gonna tell you what it is. If you missed it, go back and see. If you can notice there is one quick split second in that video where something happens and I think many of you are not convinced that Captain Myers is still here in this house or at least something is so let me know do you think our house is haunted after you watch the clip well, it's gonna do the good old string trick with a little weight and try to get the string down so that he'll be able to pull the cord through when we put the TV there. That way we won't have any cords showing. We've had many successes over the years doing this trick, <laughs> not having to have any of the cords show. So we're just working our way painting all the way around this area here. 
and then touching up any of the door frames. Still gonna paint that door, but we're gonna kind of combine once we get to the hallway and the kitchen kind of connecting. Now that we know that we're keeping that cabinet there, I'm gonna paint the inside of it. Yeah. I just never did because we were kind of deciding whether or not we were gonna keep the cabinet there and make it make sense or not. But we love it now that it's there and we do use it. So we'll be able to get the inside all finished up. Nice job. Fishing for wires. <laughs> The rug still needs to settle because the corners and everything are all curling up. It just needs a couple days, I think, to just relax itself from being rolled up. The reason I selected this rug was one, it's so plush and it feels incredible on your feet. The description for this rug was that it was a high pile, so I knew that it was going to be really plush even though we couldn't stand on it. When we went to look at the rug, it was like hanging on the thing so you could feel it and you could feel how thick it was and it just felt like it was gonna be so dreamy under our feet. Because we heat with only wood, even though our floors aren't really like cold because the house gets so warm with the nice wood heat, it's still so nice to have textiles underneath your feet. And so I'm looking for a rug for the movie room and I think we'll go with something really high pile like this. And what I wanted was something that was a neutral, but I didn't want just like a completely creamy white rug because you know, we have three dogs and children and Philip and I and completely white rug was just not gonna cut it. We have gray tones in the tile that are here in the kitchen. We don't really decorate with gray, but this is like a darker blue gray, which complements the hall cabinet that we just did, as well as I think the chairs, the two that we're keeping in this space. So I still wanted like some color, but a lot more family friendly. And I feel like this is so forgiving because even like, let's just pretend there was a little stain right here because it's underneath the kitchen table. I really don't think you would notice it. I do have a carpet cleaner, but I feel like this rug will be very forgiving because of the speckled patchy kind of pattern that's on it. So that was kind of my thought. And I feel like the rug that was here was too scratchy, way too bold. The colors were way too committing. I'm gonna say because this, I feel like it doesn't matter what season it is, if I'm decorating in this space, this is gonna go. And it just really pulls that blue gray to that hallway cabinet. I'll show you. You can see the blue gray cabinet here and how it kind of like ties in. And I'm really glad that we didn't do that hall cabinet white because there is a tall white cabinet here. So when you look this way, it just makes a lot of sense. So we're gonna bring in the element that we're gonna add to this space to create our seating now that we have the rug in here. I know we still have some painting to do on the other side walls for like touch-ups, but I'm brave enough to bring this in because I'm dying to show you what we're going to do. And I think you'll see why we kind of wanted this to be a neutral, but still have some texture. Philip's just putting the legs on the seating element. The legs are so nice. And I love that our table has the black herringbone legs. I do love the black metal legs that are gonna be on the seating element. They can't really see what it is. They could just see the corner. This is actually an element that Philip was wanting to get when we were first buying the house. In every store in Canada and the US, no, US wouldn't even ship to us, but in Canada, nobody had any in stock. He was so bummed and that is why we ended up with our orange leather couch that was in our living room space because Philip took that as like a plan B to his original want. Now he's pretty excited that this element is here. So our seating option to have as a banquette is by Valencia Home Theatre Seating. It is from their lifestyle collection and this one is called the Jasper Leather Three Seat Sofa and this is going to be the perfect addition. We love how it has the really streamlined legs they complement the table. It's obviously very family friendly because it's leather, so it's easy to wipe off and easy to maintain. The color is so dreamy. And one of the things that I think that maybe other people wouldn't necessarily notice is that the texture of the leather of this couch is absolutely amazing. So you see the texture and it's just the softest leather ever. This is nothing in comparison to the couch that we have in our living room. The quality is so more superior. It's just insane how much nicer these sofas are and how much nicer the leather is compared to what we have in the other room. 
This is what we were dreaming about having for a leather sofa when we were buying the house and we were unable to get it. So the fact that Valencia Home Theater Seating has these and also has them in different styles is just like right up our alley. And I think this complements the space. It has a little bit of a cafe style vibe to it, which is what I like. The arms here are rounded out, which makes it really soft to get in from either side. So when we have the table in front, it doesn't really have a solid block arm that's going to block you from being able to scooch into that space, which is what we were worried about when trying to think about a seating. But because we wanted something that was really comfortable that we could not only sit at as like office work to be able to edit here, sit here and watch ball games or sit here and chill while someone's cooking or eat dinner, this is going to be a really family friendly way for us to be able to do that. It is the perfect height also for all of us when sitting at it. Once the table is here, we're going to show you it is just absolutely exactly what we needed for this space. So again, thank you so much to Valencia Home Theater Seating for supporting our family. They've been in an amazing company to collaborate with and they just keep cheering us on. So we hope that you'll do the same for them. I'll put all the information for them down in the description box. This video is obviously a sponsored video, but as you know, on our channel, we only will promote things that make sense and are things that our family actually would use, which is what you see us represent on our channel. And I 100% stand by how amazing these are. And just, I mean, just the look of it. It is so absolutely dreamy. But now that we have the sofa in place, we wanna get the table and the two chairs set up so we can see what it's gonna look like all together. And then tomorrow we'll be able to add all of our custom details that we wanna to add to the space. perfect height for us to sit and edit and do all the things that we need to do it's so comfortable like this couch is incredibly comfortable it is complete luxury the leather is just insane I can't even believe that this is in our space I'm going to show you from all the sight lines so you can see how it makes sense originally I thought if we used a sofa and we didn't build like a box bench that is going to stick out way too far from the window space. And we didn't have that much space between the wall and the island. We still have almost a four foot space between the island and the back of the chairs. So even if we're all sitting on the chairs, there's so much room to extend the chairs out and then be able to sit down at the table and still have a good couple of feet walk through. Having this here means you can look out at the horses in the paddock, which is an incredible view of the horses and the brook. I just feel like this is just such a comfy spot. And if we're having board game time or you know watching games on the TV or anything like that, this space is just so much more us. I can't wait to add all of our personal elements and we're going to style up this space on tomorrow's video. We have a bunch of things we wanna to do to the wall, you know, for the table setting. For this sort of whole area here, we have a bunch of other things to go on into the space. And I just think it's just gonna elevate it that much more, but this is just absolutely amazing. I really wanna show you what it looks like from here into the hallway and from the hallway into the kitchen so you can see how it all flows. But we will do a walkthrough where you'll get to see kind of like how everything joins together because I know some of you are confused as to where each of the spaces are. But I wanna thank Valencia Home Theater Seating again for rising up our family and for cheering us on. It has been an absolute pleasure to work with you and we hope that we get to continue to work with you in the future, which I think I already know that we're gonna be doing that, which is really exciting. And this is just like, such a lovely gift to have for our family. So I hope that you enjoyed today's video. Please let me know what you think of this sort of cafe style seating banquet area that we're making. And I will see you on tomorrow's episode.